Hi class, welcome to another one of your English classes for the English for Technology, Information and Technology course, English for IT and Computer Users. In this class, we're doing vocabulary. We're going to design a map or a tree with different categories from the vocabulary in Unit 4. And we're going to do it together. Ready? Okay, let's get started. So first, we have number five, vocabulary tree. Designing word trees and spidergrams can help you build up your own mental maps of vocabulary areas. Look at the list of terms in the box and put each one in an appropriate place on the word tree below. The first one has been done for you. We have processor, RAM, mouse, ROM, computer brain, gigahertz, expendable memory, byte, printer, DVD, megabyte, ALU, DIMMS, system clock, webcam, hard drive, keyboard, and registers. Okay, here's the vocabulary list in the box. Organize in your notebook. Take notes and organize the different categories. Let's look at the categories in our tree. We have the CPU category, the processor is in the CPU. Correct? Next, we have the main memory. Obviously, everything is in the computer, right? So this is connected. Let's connect the CPU to the computer, the main memory. The peripherals is the next category. Peripherals. Processor in the CPU. We got it. Next, let's get started with some easy ones. How about we do the peripherals? For example, the mouse. Oops, here's the mouse. It's connected to the computer, so this is a peripheral. Correct? So let's get started and start organizing. We got my computer here, my keyboard. Peripherals. I'm going to connect the mouse. Oh. And I see the keyboard over here on top, I mean on the right side, the keyboard. Another peripheral, we have to attach it to our computer, right? So I'll go ahead and put that here. Keyboard.
something else to connect to the computer peripherals we have the keyboard the mouse the webcam excellent the camera the webcam okay Anything else in the box? Let's look at the vocabulary. The printer, another peripheral, printer. All the accessories that we need to connect to the computer. So we'll put that one here too. Webcam, the printer. Huh, I don't see anything else. Anything else? Anything else here on the uh, on the box here? Oh. RAM, ROM, anything else? Anything else? Let's see, let's look at the box here. System clock. What do you see? Peripherals. Well, I think we're finished with the peripherals. Let's review. For the peripherals, we got the keyboard the mouse, the webcam, the printer. Now in the CPU we have the processor and we have another category, main memory. Which one do you want to try next? The memory? I see a lot of memory. For example, RAM, ROM, expendable memory. Okay, this is memories, right? Memory stuff. Okay, let's put it here. RAM, the M is for memory. ROM, the M is for memory. Expandable memory. What about the units for the memories? We measure it in megabytes, bytes. Mm. What about Let's see, we got megabyte, byte. Oh, the hard drive. What happens in the hard drive? Memory? Okay, let's put the hard drive, storage. Uh, so it's like a, some storage, right? We don't have that category, but it's in the memories. Maybe even the DVD, right? Storage. And the CPU. Now let's put some options for the CPU. Computer brain, oh, that's good. Uh, gigahertz over here, memory. 
Oh, the system clock. Yes, the CPU, the processor, the clock. And the ALU and the DIMS. Oh, that's in the memory. So here, take this. That's for the memory category, right? All technical. Put that over here. Missing anything? Do we need anything else? Oh, and the registers. Registers. Okay, we have a lot of vocabulary here. Now, this is all from CPU, main memory, peripherals. It's all in the computer. We're going to use this vocabulary when you recommend a computer. This is the exercise that we need recommending a computer. A friend, a friend has asked you to recommend a computer that suits his needs. These are his needs. He needs to be able to access the internet, play games, work with graphics, music, and video files. Your job is to write an email describing the technical features and saying why you recommend it. Write an email and tell us why you recommend